Hello, welcome to Camaro Mod Channel. I'm your host Roger. This week's program, we're going to start working on trunk stripes. This can be working on the back part. Get them put on so we can get the, the spoiler put on. This is the kit that I bought. Got it off of eBay. About $99. We'll put on the hood straps later. You get, the, get the back finished up so we can get the spoiler put on. But it just needs a squeegee of some kind and a bottle of water. A little bit of soap in it. Use Dawn one or two drops or some kind of hand soap. Liquid hand soap is all you need. So I got this off of eBay from Motor Inc. Looks like to be good stripes, good quality. But this is the this is the hood straps here. This is the the small straps that goes on the, the fenders and the hood. We'll have to put all that in. Put that on and uh, install that in another video. Get the trunk straps put on so we can get the the spoiler put on. If you see me looking over here, it's because I got a mantra over here. So I see what I'm see what I'm looking at. But once we get the straps put on, we'll be able to get this project finished up. Move on to the next one. So let's go out to the car and get started. Okay, before we put these straps on, I need to make sure this is all really clean. This is just plain soap and water. I've already <clears throat> already got the car cleaned up. So I just want to get any dust or anything off of it. This is going to be a very easy one compared to a lot of them. It's just going to be a black stripe right through here that goes under the spoiler here. Normally I would use like a rubbing alcohol on here to uh, make sure you clean all your waxes and your grime and dirt off of it. Or you can just use soap and water. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that when they go out and wash their car with a bucket of soapy water, they're actually taking all the, the wax off their car. A, uh, a good soap like Dawn or like uh, dishwashing soap, <clears throat> what does it do to your dishes? It takes all your takes all your oils off of it on what is a wax it's oil based it's a petroleum based product so therefore it'll take it off your car so after you wash your car you almost have to wax it again because it basically strips your your wax off your car okay here's the straps right here this one's going to be so easy I won't even have to use any reference marks I'm just going to See this area goes right up in here. See, I'm just gonna line this edge right here with this right here and just leave just a little bit showing right there. Line it up here and here and just let this run run where it wants to go and it should be fine. The main thing is we wanna get this right here lined up and this here will run out straight. And this will be under the spoiler, like we need it. So we'll get the... Spray it all down real good. I went ahead and left this in the garage because it's getting real close to fall time and I don't want no 
leaves or junk falling into it. About the time I get ready to put the stripe on, I'd have something fall down into it. So I just left it here in the garage. Okay, I just about forgot to spray the back of it. Just spray the car and then spray the, the actual decal. Lay it on. Peel this back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Get that right up on that corner right there. that right in there like that maybe a little bit further up perfect I'm gonna spray your paper Okay, now we can go to the next one. Those kind of fingers or bubbles right there are just in the just in the masking itself. It's not in the it's not in the stripe itself. So we're ready to move on to the next one. This is the way it needs to lay. I'm gonna go and wipe this off again, make sure there's no dust again on there. Spray it good and wet.
peel this apart. Same thing, we want to get this, get that edge up there. Peel this back, we can see what you're doing. Leave about the same distance on each side. <clears throat> so looks like we need to go up a little bit more. Now we're ready to squeeze it out. Okay, this is your last chance to get it right. It looks very close. Some people overlap it and wrap it underneath so you don't get that red line, but this is what it shows on the on the pictures that I got it from. The it shows how to install it. So, I'll leave a link below on where I've got these stripes at and I'll put a, a picture on there what it all looks like. This is just the trunk stripes on this, on this part. We still have the hood stripes to go yet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and pull the, the masking off the the other side.
Got a hole right here we'll have to cut out for the spoiler right here. Now we'll get this other side taken off. Yeah, just pull straight back on it. Don't be, don't be pulling like this. You might pull it up. Just pull straight back on it. If you happen to have some more bubbles in it, you need to squeegee it some more. Then you would want to put a a microfiber towel on your squeegee. I'll go get one to show you. If you pull your masking off and still see some bubbles, then you would need microfiber towel like this so you don't scratch your stripes and just squeegee out the bubbles. Okay, got that one out. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a pretty good bubble right there. We get out to the side over here. Don't use the microfiber on your squeegee like that. You're liable to scratch it up pretty good. Okay, I'm getting down to the last of it, Dale. I still see one. Okay, getting the light just right. That one's good to go. Check this other one. Okay, that about does it on this, on the trunk stripes.
like I say, I'll drop a link below on where I got these straps at. I got them on eBay. So, I think they was around $99. In one of the later videos, I'll get the, the hood straps put on. But next, we're going to put on this Wickerbill spoiler here. <laughs> 